Willie Mullins joins us now after Alaho won the Horse and Jockey Hotel chase for the second year running. Willie, I must say, I thought that Alaho really doing what he does best, jumping well, bossing the opposition. Did you see everything you wanted to today? I, I did. Um, he did it in the end, uh, but Paul had set out with that plan just to jump get out and go and not be waiting around for anyone. Um, I was a little concerned the way he jumped the first three or four fences. I thought he, he was just sort of putting down in front of them and, and not the yellow hole that jumped the last two or three fences. And But then the start here, it's in front of the winning post with the parade ring and the stable yard and you've got to go around a bend and go down a hill to the first fence. So he was just looking around himself a bit. But um, by the time the business end of the race came, he was flying the way I wanted him and I think he even cut Paul out going <laughs> to the last did he? The scope he showed there because he wasn't meaning it on a great stride and still was able to deliver. He, it just took off and Paul I thought Paul was coming out the side door at, at one stage but um, anyhow they stayed together and galloped. Paul thought he was only coming alive as he galloped up the straight so that's a good sign I think. Ruby was just explaining earlier on the logic behind giving him the run today when there was talk initially about going straight to Cheltenham after Punchestown. Presumably you feel you've definitely done the right thing now at least do you? Yeah, you better tell me what Ruby said so, <laughs> <laughs> I forget. so we don't confuse one. no but I, I thought I always thought he was coming here and um, you know as much as that it's a lovely distance between um, you know it's a nice time now I can let him back down and get him ready again for Cheltenham and he you know course and distance winner here last year he was good doing that so let him let him do it again and we can get him, hopefully get him in back to Cheltenham in the same order we got him there last year. Yes, interesting you say that. I mean, he's a year older now, but could he, if anything, maybe be an even better horse at the edge of eight? I hope so. Well, I Bad don't know. The opposition uh, if he could be as good as last year, that'll do me. Um, you know, but uh, he's, he's doing everything right at home. So uh, just fingers crossed he stays right now. He seemed to jump really straight today as well. Well, you've seen him go left on occasion in the past, this race and a bunch of stand. Did that aspect of it please you too? Yeah, everything about it pleased me. Uh, I think just he was a little ring rusty. I thought over the first few fences, but uh, as I explained, you know the start here, the way it, the way it is, and I think I blame that. Uh, and then when he got warmed up, he was fine. Is it a pretty straightforward routine he has between now and March? I think so. He's a pretty easy horse to train. Uh, very, you know, so no complications. Just he eats, sleeps, drinks. You know, he does everything right and we just keep fingers crossed that he stays right. Yeah, fingers crossed is right. He's one of the real stars of National Hunt Racing. Willie, just wanted to have a word about yesterday and the performance of energy. I mean, Ruby was saying, understandably, he's a bit tired after the race and yeah. the travelling as well. Would you expect yeah, he lost, he lost be a while a, He lost over? a lot of weight, uh, you know, coming back, well, over the whole trip. Um, you've got to remember, even though it wasn't his first run in, in England because he won his pointy point there, but uh, it's his first trip away from home for us. And, um, you, you know, so we'll have to get him back now and build him up again for the next race and try and find some way of beating Shishkin. Could be tough, but, uh, you know, and Shishkin has the advantage now as well as having run around Cheltenham and won around Cheltenham. We, it's going to be new to Energamine. But um, just chatting with, the, you know, with Paul... Patrick, Ruby and David, everyone has different little theories about where we can improve and as Ruby said, you know, we've, we've only got to get a half a length. Uh, and yeah, that might be uh, harder said than done, but we'll see what happens. And it's fascinating, isn't it? Because you mentioned there Cheltenham, the other horse has proven at Cheltenham, but yeah. is potentially Cheltenham a track that might suit your horse a little bit better, do you think? I don't know. Does our fellow jump a little right at, on occasions, you know, but other times he jumps straight. Um, we never worried about it uh, before, but um, we don't know whether it's going to be better or worse at Cheltenham, you know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. And Willie, understandably, in the build-up to the race, you and Nicky Henderson were both saying all the right things, very respectful of the opposition, etc., which yeah. you have to be. But in your heart of hearts, were you going there pretty confident in your horse yesterday? Uh, no, God, you couldn't be going there confident, no. I was going there that our horse was in great order, and I think he was in great order. And um, I think... As I said yesterday, we got the run of the race. He jumped well, did everything Paul wanted him to do, did everything Paul set out to do. Uh, so, you know, have we anything left in the locker? Um, uh, you'd wonder about that, whether the track, you know, so we, we've a left-handed track in Cheltenham, more undulating than Ascot. They're, they're all the things, they're the unknowns. And um, 
you know, then we look at the look at the race yesterday, look at the way we rode it, the tactics we employed. Should we change them? Could we change them? But should we stick to what we're good at? Um, I don't know. They're all the things that we're going to be asking ourselves time the and time again. Think tank or being yeah. full <laughs> that'll be it. So if you if you have a spare hour or two yourself, you can come down <laughs> and throw your tuppence worth in. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not so. sure you'd want to hear that, Willie. In fairness, yeah. and in terms of his routine, obviously it's going to be totally different to a horse like Alaho, who's finished this race with a bit of pep left in him. He'll have an easy time of things, I guess, for a while. This guy. Yeah, I mean, I I, I think Inergamine is fit. We need just to get him back, get him, uh, you know, just let him have a have a break. That's it, and get him ready again. So um, I don't think we'll be training much, changing any of his routine at home. Uh, I I was happy the way he went there yesterday. If he goes to Cheltenham in the same order, I'd be very happy. The whole race and world to be relishing the prospect of a rematch. Will he finally finally just coming back to today? Bill away returns in the Hunter Chase. How's he been going yeah, at home? He's just had a little setback. The right thing to do with him would be to run him in two weeks' time, but I just said to Patrick, I want to run him and get him on the racetrack. He's got penalties in this race. Um, if he comes up a little ring rusty, that won't surprise me, but I, I need to get him out, and I might get another run into him before the, the champion hunters chase in Cheltenham um, or Pontchestown. So, uh, you know, today was today is just get him out on the racetrack. I... I might be a little short, we'll have to see. You know. Say no more. Willie, yeah. really appreciate your time. Well done again. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.